Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do an unboxing and show you how to assemble this Hoover Power Scrub XL Pet Carpet Cleaner. So it has a lot of things that comes in the box. You don't need any tools to put it together. So first, let's show you exactly how to put it together. This unit is kind of heavy, so be careful. It comes with the dirty water tank installed. It's easy to remove, you just kind of lift up. Now one thing I want to show you to make sure is, lift, right here's the hinge. Make sure this little red thing, mine was in the bag, make sure this little red thing is right here. Once in a while you are gonna have to remove that and there'll be some hair and debris. Now to put this on, you're gonna simply put the front part in. There's a spot for it to go in. Rotate the latch, click it. Again, this handle's out front. Then you just kind of tilt it and push it down. It has a cord. We've got cord storage around back. But first, let's install the handle. Now the first thing I like to do is It'll only go one way. So there's this top part that has the two ears that are open. That's what's gonna go onto this and it's kind of, it'll only go one way, push down until it clicks. If you need to take it apart, you can take those, press those ears in, it'll come apart. This does have a trigger on it that when you press it, it's gonna release the solution. Then we're gonna take this. There's a little thing here on the back. Push this in until it snaps into place. There, I can't pull it out anymore. Now, I have a solution tank. We're gonna put the concentrated solution, you get a little sample of it, Hoover Deep Clean and Neutralize. We're gonna fill this up with concentrated solution. The machine does the mixing for us. Fill this up, it's got a lid, very easy to fill up. Again, the small one, concentrated at full strength. Press it in the back. Here's the clean water. You're simply going to take this over there. You can put hot water in this. You don't want boiling hot water, but hot water that comes out of your, your sink. Open this lid, quarter turn, fill this up with fresh water only. You do not put any solution in here. Then we're gonna close it. Then this just slides in. You're gonna kinda wanna make sure it's in place like that. Now, we can also attach a hose to this. I love when they come, these, these Hoover bags are super nice. They have a hook and they have holes in it. That way, sometimes this will be wet when you're done using it. You can put everything in the bag and then you just simply store it with the machine. It air dries, it's always there with the machine, you know where it's at. I love that feature. So again, there are two attachments here. Now this one, the, the fingers on it are like rubbery, they're kind of soft, but the main thing is this is for really getting in there, I can really leverage this. I can take this apart if I need to and for cleaning. This is what attaches to the hose. Now, where does the hose attach? Right here. We just, it's very simple. Lift this little thing up right here. One end, there's a pot for solution and suction. And that's like a brass fitting there. So lift it up, turn it around. Careful. Now, when you use the hose, you're just gonna turn it on. You're gonna leave it in the upright position. Put on your attachments, press the trigger. You're gonna get solution out of this under pressure and you'll have suction going into the machine. That's a very nice feature. When we wanna re release it, there is a release button on the front. So right here on the front, make sure you press that, pull it out. Then you can store all of this in that bag. Now we have this, this is another thing. So it comes apart a little bit more. I'm actually pretty impressed how far it comes apart. Let's take the dirty water tank off, lift up, set it off to the side. Now, once that dirty water tank's off, we can simply just rotate this, lift this up. This is just the suction part. We can take this over to the sink, get this all nice and clean. That's what this tool is for. Once in a while, you will have to get down in there. Maybe some stuff gets stuck in there. This is gonna help you get that all nice and clean. Now, on the bottom, this is the trick. This is the neat part, I think. We got these release buttons here, press those. This comes off for cleaning. These counter rotate that, and their solution comes out above them. That's how this thing does all the cleaning by these counter rotating brushes. See, we can see that's what the machine's gonna do. But I love that you can take this off. That, you can take this over the sink, get this all nice and clean, do whatever you need to do. Ready, ready, put it back, snap it into place. It's ready to go. I love when machines are able to take apart for cleaning. Inevitably, this will all get very dirty when you're cleaning. 
two big hooks here. Let's put the hooks in, rotate it up, and then it's gonna kinda click into place. Looks all nice and even right here. Now we can take the dirty water, dirty water tank, kinda tilt it in. There are these little ears in the back. They seem to kinda wanna go in first. So rotate it in, and then just kinda press it in. Make sure this is in right, yep. There. Sometimes getting the dirty water tank on and off can be just a little tricky, but you're gonna get the hang of it. Now, again, we've got cord storage around back. Let's take a look. I love when they have foot controls. This is the handle release. Now again, when I press the trigger, that's when I get, it's gonna mix the concentrated and the water, and it's gonna spray down here. When I let up, you always have suction, but when I let up, it's only gonna be suction only. Now, we have this button. Quick clean, there's an arrow right here. So whatever the arrow is pointing to, quick clean or deep clean, you're still gonna have the same amount of suction. It's how much solution is put down. So in quick clean, it, it says it's gonna dry a lot quicker because it's not, when you pull the trigger, it's not gonna put as much solution down. When you do deep clean, when I pull the trigger, it's gonna put more solution on the carpet. It'll take longer to dry, but it does a better job of cleaning. Now again, we can wrap the cord around here and here. All in all, it's really good. Let's see how many amps. 10 amp, this has a 10 amp motor. And again, I love how we can store this. Let's fill the solution tanks up and see how everything goes. Let's do some measurements. So standing upright all the way to the top of the handle, 43 inches. Left to right in the front, 12 inches. Front to back, seven, oh, almost 18 inches. It's got a three prong cord. Okay, so this retails for $200. My very next video is I'm gonna take it over there. We're gonna see how well it cleans. And then I'm gonna compare it to the other, lots of other Hoover. There's another Hoover one, kind of an older one that does the same thing, but this one comes apart. So I'm pretty, pretty excited to do a comparison with those. I will be comparing it to some of the best selling Hoover and uh, Bissell carpet cleaners. So be sure and check out that next video. I bought this with my own money. I saved a little bit of money. I bought it off of Amazon used. Um, it's in pretty good shape. We're gonna see how it does. $200. I'll put a link to it underneath the show description notes. I am an affiliate with Amazon. If you click on the link, the product won't cost you anymore, but I get a small commission from the sale. It is a way of supporting my channel. That way I can buy these products, give you an honest review on them. Hey, would I spend $200 on this? I don't know yet. So far I would. It looks really good. Be sure and check me out on Instagram, just a dead videos. Look for my logo. If you could hit a follow over there, I really would appreciate it. Again, thanks everybody for watching. If you could, please like and subscribe and thanks again.